every mistake we made, they capitalized. This is a very um, veteran savvy team. Uh, a few guys, uh, it just seems like every time you make a mistake on on Evan, on uh, Boot, and even Gordon. Gordon, I thought he had, had his way up as well. But two games, uh, the fourth quarter defense, we got we to gotta clean that up. It's been two games in a row now. Uh, but I thought I thought um, they were stronger with the cuts. Uh, they were physical uh, with their offensive rebounds, crashing the board. They they made timely threes. And and can you take us a little behind your decision making on on number one, uh, giving Jerome rotation minutes tonight, and and number two, not playing Neto in the second half? Well, it's just um, Danny got some foul trouble. Troy didn't play well. Just trying to create a spark off the bench. Uh, those minutes are available. Uh, it's not going to be uh, just keep keep playing minutes if you have to produce. And Jerome, he's been working just as hard as other guys. Uh, just felt that uh, he would be the, the spark that we would uh, we needed. And then Raul, I mean, Raul, I would. It was just um, the rotation didn't uh, come back around in that second, uh, that fourth quarter. Chase. Yeah, Scott, was there any common theme to Denny's fouls? I mean, I, I understand it's pretty tough for rookies to uh, defend without fouling sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's just part of the rookie initiation. They they say that doesn't happen, but we all know. Been around the league long enough. Uh, you just got to keep keep putting his head down and not complain. I thought they they looked at one at halftime. They didn't think it was a foul, which I didn't think I didn't think he, two of them were not fouls. Um, but that's just part of growing growing up in this league, and you know he's he's gonna learn. He's gonna learn to do that. And there's some things you just can't control. Neil. Hey, Coach. Uh, Russ didn't have the greatest shooting night. What's your level of concern? Not at all, or? No, I mean he's he's a uh, he fills up the stat sheet. It's gonna be some nights he doesn't shoot the ball well, like every player in this league. Uh, but he still finds a way to, to be keep us in uh, contention, keep us competitive. All the rebounds, all the passing. Uh, also, we, we just we missed so many free throws, too. We could have extended the lead. We could have stayed within striking distance. Uh, and we're a pretty good free throw shooting team. But Russell's shooting percentage, yeah, I would like him to shoot better. But he does so many other things that, you know, there's going to be nights that he doesn't shoot the ball well, but he's still going to help you uh, put you in position to compete for, for the win. Iba. Coach, this is uh, Gil Tamari from News 13 uh, Israel. What kind of advice can you give uh, Danny for the next game, not to be in a situation that uh, in the first uh, two minutes of the game, he had already two fouls, and when you are bringing him back to the game, he had another foul, and then the fourth one? Very quick, yeah. Um, welcome to the NBA. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I will tell him. Welcome to the NBA. And also, uh, there's that, you know, the fouls, you just got to keep keep fighting, keep playing, keep competing, and he will. The other good thing about welcome to the NBA, there's always a game right around the corner. We got one tomorrow night. Uh, so he's going to be able to come back and bounce back, and and hopefully he can play, you know, mid-20s uh, or, or more. Uh, but, yeah, it's just part of it. It's part of growing up in this league, and uh, every rookie has to go through it. Tonight was he had some. I thought he had a couple of tough calls that 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 kept him from playing uh, a good amount of minutes tonight. And obviously, we we need him. He, he plays. Uh, he's a good player. He made a big he made a big three when he came back. I thought that three was going to give us a chance, and we just couldn't get any stops down the stretch. Thank you. You're welcome, Matt. Hey, Coach. Uh, what have you liked from the Neto Smith Westbrook 
Brown, Lopez lineup so far this year that, that you've gone to it a couple times early? Yeah, I mean, it's just, um, just it's so early in the season, we're just trying to figure out a, a rotation that allows to keep either Brad on the floor or Russell on the floor at all times. And we're still, I mean, it's like I said, it's only two games. Uh, it's not fair to really judge it. Um, we got some more more work to do, more figuring out how we can, you know, create some more, generate some more stops so we can get out in transition and use all three, the, the quickness and the decision making, and, and that'll be great shooter as well. So, uh, maybe throw DB in there more, more of that lineup, and give us another shooter. But there's, it's, like I said, it's things that we're, we're going to continue to explore and experiment. Um, hopefully, we can. Get it down where our bench is pretty solid and consistent every night. Thanks. All right, last question back to Chase. Yes, yeah, Scott. Um, Davis was two of 10 from three, three of 11 from the field. Was it anything that they were doing to kind of take that away, take that away from him? No, I mean, I thought he got a lot of good looks. I mean, it's still, you know, he's, he didn't really have the, I mean, none of us really had the, the longer training camp, but he didn't have much one at all. Um, so it's just gonna, it's gonna take some time, get his legs underneath him, and he's not gonna, he's not gonna go two for 10 often. Um, one of them, uh, it was a big one too, and it went right in and out. So um, one thing about DB, he's not gonna, he has amnesia. He's gonna go out tomorrow night um, and, take the first shot like he's made a hundred of them in a row. Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I think it was a, I think it was an effort thing. You know, uh, we always know the last couple of years, Orlando has had our number. And I think it's just from the standpoint of them just playing harder than we do. Uh, I think defensively, we had a lot of slip ups that shouldn't have been there. Like a lot of easy switch switching situations that we didn't do and communicate. Um, and then just taking an individual challenge. You know, we can't get beat off the dribble. Um, you know, we got to show more resistance in all areas of the game. You know, I got beat on a few back doors and cuts and things too. So we just have to be more solid and disciplined, understand, again, like once the last, you know, five, six minutes of the game, it's time to lock in and and win. So, so Brad, the natural follow-up to that would be, is, is it concerning to you that in game two, you're giving us answers about effort? No, because you didn't ask about effort the first game, so the effort was there. Uh, I don't think it's it's not. I'm, I want to make sure that you hear me clear. Like we're not going out and not competing. We compete our ass off every night. You know, it's just some nice other teams are better than you are. You know, and I don't think a lot of times we we were we weren't communicating as best as we as we normally do, and that happens. You know, we have to be better uh, and understand that Orlando's a team that's trying to beat us every single time they play us. So. I don't think it's a problem. I, I never said it was a problem from the get-go. So, so I think we'll be all right. Cool. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Chase. Hey, Brad. Uh, free throw shooting was a problem in the first game, and it, it was an issue again tonight. Uh, how frustrating is it when you look back at a game and, and realize, you know, maybe it could have been different if you guys made more free throws? Yeah. I mean, we all got to make them. I damn sure got to make mine. Uh, but I mean, it's, I'm not getting into that, honestly, because to each his own, you know, you can't go back and get calls. You can't, you know, I can't stop it. I can't stop everything. I can't stop the world right now. And, you know, let's go, let's go get these three free throws back. You know, it is what it is. Refs have a hard job just like we do. So, you know, we tip our hat off to them and just keep playing. Well, just in terms of making free throws, I'm sorry, I, just to be clear, I didn't mean like you guys didn't go to the line. It's just you shot 53, 54%. Um, so when you miss free throws, how frustrating is that, I guess, looking back? It's frustrating to me, especially if you're just leaving points on the board. But, you know, it's, I'm not going to sit here and say free throws is the only thing that lost us the game. Obviously, it plays a significant role. Uh, but we just we got to be better and locked in and just knock them down. Brady. Hey, Brad. Um, in the past, you've told me how important it has been to have your, you know, your wife and your son at the games. What did that feel like today, your first home game, not having them there? I was definitely, it's always an adjustment. You know, it's, 
I mean, but at the end of the day, we're pro athletes. This is what we're paid to do. We are paid to play basketball, you know, and as much as we love our families and friends and everyone here with us, you know, it's, it's a crazy pandemic we're in and you have to, you know, accept what we have, you know, and our job is still to go out there and compete and go out there and do what we do. So, you know, it is tough because, you know, I feed off my family. It's always great to be able to see them there. Um, but at the same time, I even tell my wife this, like, I have to go do my job. You know, it's whether I'm here, whether I'm on the road, I have to go do my job. So, you know, that never changes. Eva? Brad, um, Scott Brooks has mentioned twice now that he's looking for a little bit more consistency when he shifts the units um, from the bench. What are you seeing when you're on the sideline that maybe second unit needs a little jolt on offense? Or what are you seeing from your perspective there? Oh, we got to be better defensively. Uh, I mean, that's everybody, not just the second group. It's just it's us, too. You know, we have to be better defensively, but I think in particular, the group has to be more aggressive on the offensive end, you know, getting the ball out, moving it, sharing it, you know, and, you know, guys like Jerome and Troy, they need to be a lot more aggressive than what they are, you know, and we're trying to instill that in them and try to push that, push them to, to be aggressive, push them, you know, to be those aggressors in the second unit because we need them, you know. You guys have open shots, shoot them. I think they passed up a lot of open ones tonight. So, you know, it's just... It's a work in progress. You know, we, it ain't going to be perfect, but, you know, I feel like we're taking the right strides, you know, like you said before, coach is searching. So at the end of the day, it's a, it's a competition thing and guys have to be ready to go. Anthony. Hey, Brad, hope you and your family had a great Christmas. Thank you. Um, with, with the first game and, and, and today you scoring over 30 points and Russ, um, you know, um, having his first two triple doubles um, going into tomorrow's game. Are there any, um, do you see any, uh, any adjustments going into tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm not giving away my answers, but I told the guys as soon as we walked in the locker room, like this is, Orlando's has our number, you know, and tomorrow, whatever the hell it takes, we gotta, we gotta win, you know, and whatever that means, whatever it looks like, we have to win tomorrow. Uh, so that's our mindset, you know, guys, we got to get rest tonight, come back ready to go tomorrow because Orlando's a team that don't stop. They keep punching, they keep punching, you know, until they chop the tree down. So, you know, eventually we got to, we got to stand our ground, throw some punches back and stand our ground. But like I said before, we, we, we can't do it individually. We got to do it together and we got less than 24 to get it right. Thanks, Brad. Brad. Hey, Brad, I, I was also just curious, you and Russell have been staggering with the first and second units. Um, how, how did you guys come to the point where you were going to work out the rotation so Russell would be with the second unit and, and you would have the more conventional, like, out at the three-minute marker and, and back in at the nine? Uh, we just – it's a matter of minutes and, you know, comfortability. I think initially – I think we kind of planned it out in preseason a little bit. I'm, it's, it's not etched in stone. You know, I think coach more or less just wants one of us on the floor at all times, uh, or at least the good majority of it. Uh, you know, we're okay with that. And, you know, that involves Russ having to come out a little bit earlier in the first so we can go back in with the group in the second. But whether coach flips it or not, you know, we I think we'll be fine. You know, it's it's a matter about our matchups and not line up in the second group, you know. And uh, so I think it's a matter of Brooks. I mean, we all talk about it and figure it out. But, you know, it's, it's only been two games. Neil. Hey, Brad. Uh, obviously, you know, it's been an adjustment. It's been less than a month since this team's been together. Do you feel like there is still an adjustment process going on? And how long do you expect maybe that would take, if you could guesstimate? Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be one because we don't have Rui here. Uh, Rui's out. DB still on minutes, you know, so it's, we're still adjusting to stuff, you guys. Like, it's not perfect. You know, if DB plays all of his minutes, I think the ball game would be different. It gives us different looks, space to the floor. If you have Rui, it's a different ball game. You know, if, Bert, if Denny didn't get in foul trouble tonight, you know, it's something's going to happen. Things happen. So it's, uh, we just got to take those adverse times and learn how to deal with them and move on, you know. So it's going to be tough, but, you know, we're good. We adjust on the fly. We have a, a willing team who wants to learn, who wants to get better. You know, and I feel like that's a stepping stone in, in, in the right direction. So I think we're good on all fronts. We just got to continue to push push ourselves to be better, accept the challenge on both ends of the floor. I don't know. But for them, I don't really know with them. But I know for us, 
we uh, we didn't put ourselves in a position to win a game, especially myself. So um, got to do a better job, man. Just you know, sticking with it. Um, it starts with me. That's, this one don't mean no high bullshitting around. You know, missing easy shots. You know, but it wasn't nothing they did. Fred. Fred. Yeah, uh, Russell. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Russ, what, what do you identify are the issues on the defensive end? Um, issues, I don't think uh, just a miscommunication. We're getting used to playing. A lot of guys are playing different positions that they're not normally playing. Obviously, with Rui being out, uh, we got to figure out different things and lineups that guys are not used to playing in. So just some communication aspects that will get better as the season goes along. But, um, you know, it's um, – something that can be fixed, which is a good thing. Ben? Hey, Russell, obviously this is a crazy year on a lot of levels and you just got to the team you know, relatively short amount of time ago. How do you feel physically this year with all the adjustments compared to last year or previous years? Um, I feel fine. I just hate losing them. I feel good. And just as a second question, um, Scott Brooks has gone with the lineup at the start of the second quarters with you and two other point guards out there. Just curious, what do you think about that group? What are some of the uh, what, what are some of the possible benefits uh, from that group? Uh, just our pace, very faster, smaller, quicker. Um, it's been a good group for us. Uh, we tried out a little bit in preseason and <clears throat> practice as well. So I uh, just got to figure out how to utilize it and use it to our advantage when we can. Anthony? Hey, Ross, I hope you and your family had a good Christmas. Um, I know after, uh, it's only been two games, but after um, playing with, with Brad and the rest of your teammates, I mean, how, how do you think you're meshing with everyone um, after two games? Uh, trying to get there, trying to figure everybody out and figure out where um, guys can be most effective. And um, you know, that's a part of my job. It's not easy to do, um, but I will make sure I will figure it out. Um, because that's what I take pride in. and I don't like being in a position where um, I didn't put all my best energy effort to be able to help um, better my teammates, regardless of what I do. Um, I want to make sure that those guys are comfortable and feeling good about themselves and their game uh, as we kind of go along this season. Thank you. Neil. Yeah. Hey, Russell, I'm curious, uh, Scott had previously talked about limiting you in back-to-backs. I'm curious if the coaching staff has shared any thoughts or plans for you about tomorrow. Um, did you talk to the coaching staff? We did not get a chance to ask Scott. There you go. Just curious how the matchup with Vucevic went and where you thought maybe you can improve going into tomorrow night. improve on the communication standpoint and then just meeting everyone early. It's, it's all collective effort out there. Fred. Thomas, thir- third quarter, you seem to get kind of a, a good rhythm in the pick and roll there. Do you feel like you're starting to develop that kind of chemistry with, with Russell now? Yeah, I feel like I am developing that chemistry with Russ. You know, it's not that hard to play with him. You know, as long as you run the floor, you know, and run the plays and get to your spots, he'll find you. Chase. <clears throat> Thomas, uh, obviously, Denny got in some foul trouble tonight. Um, seems like, you know, maybe a, a product of him being a rookie, learning how to defend at the NBA level. Do you remember what it was like as a rookie um, going through that process, learning how to defend without fouling? I remember that. It's tough, but we all got his back, and he's gonna work. He's gonna work so much harder. Just to, he's just growing pains for him. You know, we all went through him, and he'll learn from it. I have no doubt about it. 